In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a slope graph and how we might be able to use one of those uh, <clears throat> in analyzing results. In this case, uh, we'll go through the example in the book, and that was done using, once again, sports because it's uh, something where there's a lot of uh, data sets available and easy to use. So in, in this case, we're looking at the performance of English soccer teams in the uh, Premier League. And one of the things that, that happens in the Premier League that's a little different than maybe what we see in the United States is that if a team isn't doing so well, at the end of a season, it can be relegated, which means it's moved down a lower to a lower league and other teams can be promoted based on their performance. So there's always uh, intense pressure to continue to perform so, so as you can avoid being relegated. And so uh, this visualization uses Tableau to examine the changes in performance over time. It also allows us to learn a new technique which is called uh, creating a parameter. And so the parameter will allow users to choose which stat they want to chart. And uh, we'll be use, starting to use this now and using it more, especially as we prepare to start using uh, dashboards. So first things we'll, one of the first things we'll do is create a new parameter. And so in order to do that, we're going to create that new parameter by you click anywhere in here and you'll see that you can right click I'm sorry anywhere in here or control click on a Mac create parameter and we're going to name this parameter select okay so this parameter is going to be something that our data consumer will see as a table and it says or a, a pull down that says select okay and our data is not going to be a float it's going to be a string and here we're going to create a list and in that list we're going to add values and those values were called correspond to our measures so we're going to have points position wins draws losses goals for goals against and uh, goal differential. So that's merely the difference between goals for and goals against. And I also want to change this and alter the for and capitalize goals for and goals against. Okay, so we're going to have that list and select. It's a string. Okay. So we've created that parameter. So now if we right click our parameter, we need to create some custom, um, you know, some calculated fields uh, to link the different team stats based on the user choice. So we need to create calculated fields for that. So we go to the parameter and we right click on it and we create calculated fields and then that gets a little extra because we'll do some coding but we right click parameters and we create calculated field okay now that we have a calculated field what we need to do is write a code or a script that is going to allow our users to select certain things. Now I've written that out already and I'm going to paste it in in the in the interest of time. But I will show you the code and we'll talk a little bit about what it means. And here in this case our first calculated field is going to be called selected. Selected. And so you'll see that this is the code in selected that I'm going to use.
So, in the case when select is chosen, so that select parameter here, so when we select that parameter, okay, when points is selected, then points, we drag points from here to here, that will appear. So, if I was to erase this and start over, I would say when, right, some action takes place. And so the action that's going to take place is points. And so when someone's, and then points, and this has to match the case, points is selected, okay, then what's the return? Well, we're going to drag that P over, and that's what's going to show. And then you do that for each one of the conditions. Okay. So now you've got your selected, which shows up in your measures. So you've got that, that first calculated field you made. Okay, now there's going to be your basic slope graph. So we take year right here, okay, and we drag year to the column shelf. So you have the year, and we want to change year to discrete. We want to change it to blue. So we want to change this to discrete because it's two years. Now we want to take the selected calculated field and put that on the row shelf. So we would take this calculated field, we put this on the row shelf. Okay. Now, once again, we change this from automatic and we want a line, right? For a slope graph, we want a line. Now we take club in dimensions and we drag that to the label card. Now we want to click on label, right? And we want to mark line ends. And I don't want to allow labels to overlap other marks. Okay. I also want to show parameter control because I want to select whether it be position or draws. So you get to see what happens here. Goals for, goal differential, right? So now you get to see how powerful this is. Points, position. And I want to drag this out a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So now we have the line ends, so we have those two points. We don't allow the uh, labels to overlap. So now we can add some more. You'll also notice that we have single points. So in 2012, if we have a single point, so Queens Park doesn't have another end of the slope graph, which means Queens Park and Redding and Wigan, they were... Uh, relegated to a different league. Whereas the year before, Crystal Palace doesn't have anything from the year before, and Hull City doesn't have anything from the year to, before, and Cardiff City doesn't, which means that they were promoted. So while these three teams went down, these three teams went up. Now, we want to use the other tools in our demand, you know, at our disposal to add more information. And so we can change the thickness of the lines. We can add color to the lines, right? And we can do that, add some more calculated fields to add more information to this, this graphic. So that means more calculated fields. So let's create a calculated field. And for this one, we'll call this one Delta. 
which means change, delta. So the change, right? And then we have a script for that. And once again, I've pre-made that script, and I'm just going to copy it over for the magic of television. And so basically it's going to look up the sum of the sele what's ever selected, been selected, right? The last minus the lookup sum of selected in the first. So, okay. So we now have delta. The next one we want to do is create a better or worse or direction. So we can go once again and create calculated field we'll call this direction and through the magic of television I've created this already I've called it better or worse there but it's an if then else statement again so what I'm saying here is if so what's selected right is goals against or losses or position right or draws then if the change is less than zero then better else worse and if that doesn't fit then if the change is greater than zero then better else worse and n okay got direction and now we need one more calculated field and that's going to be magnitude so we once again create cal calculated field and we call it magnitude and here through the magic of television I've got magnitude and there, I'm just going to take the absolute value of the delta, the change. And ABS is the absolute value function in Tableau. So I have these. Now, what do I do with them? So I've got all these fields. Let's make this slope graph a little something extra. So I take direction right here. Okay. And I drag that to color. So if it's worse, right, it's this orange. If it's better, then it's this blue. Okay. If I drag magnitude to size, magnitude to size, we're going to see just how much better or worse it was. And then I drag selected to label. Okay. And I change the label here so that the values are in line. So if I go here and I click these three horizontal dots, see how I have the text editor up? And I want to put these in line with a comma between them. Apply. OK. <clears throat> now, I want to filter out clubs that were promoted or relegated. So, the ones that don't have these things. So, one of the things I can do here is I can make a filter for club. And then... I can filter out Queens Park, Reading, Wigan, Crystal Palace, and Cardiff City, and Hull City, and click OK. And so relegated teams have been removed relegated or promoted teams because they don't have two-year performances so it just clutters up the chart and doesn't tell me anything 
I can even put that filter or display that filter. So if anyone wants to change, they sure can. Now I can clean up the fonts if I want. So if I want to change the fonts, so for the labels, I can change the fonts here. That's the Plantagenet. Let's see. There's the Gilsons, and let's bold them. How about that? Now, that is our slope graph. We can convert this into a dashboard by clicking on the dashboard, and we'll call this our and so we're looking at the starts of these leagues. Now I just drag sheet one into here. I'll name the sheet the same thing. Just title it. So we can't have the same name, so I've got them over here now. Okay, so I've dragged the league tables over here. Now, I want to make this more user-friendly. So one of the first things I'll do is I can drag this select by clicking on it. You see this little gripper handle here? I drag that, and I can position it up here. And so now... I can put it there as well, and then I can adjust. I can also take magnitude if I want. I can also convert this clubs. And I can put that over here. And I can go to more options and create a single value drop down. Or I can create a multiple values drop down. So I prefer the multiple values drop down. You could do the same here with position if you wanted. Right? You can change some of the things. And so now I have this interactive dashboard. It tells me magnitude, it tells me direction, and I can select position, I can select winds. Goals four, how about goals differential? And so that becomes the slope graph. Uh, it gives us a chance to look at another way of creating a visualization. Uh, very easy to use this with things like employee performance, sales performance, uh, efficiency ratings, all these kinds of things in your own uh, organization. Like I said, the only reason we are using sports data is because uh, it's commonly available. There's no personally identifiable information that could be breached. And so it becomes uh, uh, pretty easily accessible for us to practice with. But this 
is your slope graph. And so yet another way of looking at change over time.